How long is it gonna take to wake him up? How long is it gonna take to wake him up? How long is it gonna take to wake him up? How long is it gonna take to wake him up? How long is it gonna take to wake him up? They've been sleeping for about 400 years now. Like they tripping, they fell and they can't get up. And they no longer know who them is now. With the police, they murdered their kids now. They used to use the mess gate of bait. They went from genius to inconvenient. That's the power burger. They reprobate. Now we up here on our, uh, where we at? <clears throat> Fowler and 56 in Tampa, Florida. And we got all these people out here protesting and I don't see no brothers, well a couple brothers and a couple sisters out here today. I see more of our so-called oppressors out here than our people out here. Fowler and 15, Tampa, Florida. I'm Brother Yesharon. It was like school of kings and priests. Everybody got their mask on. Hey, bro, let me ask you a question. What brings y'all here today? Man, let me know that they need to recognize real before it's too late, guys. What, 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 and, what, and, what, and, what, and what's the solution? Straight, let's get this shit back together. Man, when? So you say make America great again? Yeah. When has it ever been great? Man, I mean, it's been great for me. I get myself out of that situation. Mm -hmm. but, but what about people, your people? For the people that has it, mm -hmm. getting that shit, you know, has have been going and shit, mm -hmm. I'm out here for y'all. Oh, praise. Ain't out here for me, I'm out here for them. That's right. I better recognize real before it's too late. I better when I say black lives, you say matter. Black lives, black lives. When I say black lives, you say matter. Black lives, black lives, black lives, black lives. Thank you all for coming out today. Um, as we're out here protesting, rallying uh, for justice for all victims of police brutality, for George Floyd. For Breonna Taylor, for Ahmaud Arbery, uh, all black and brown people being actively persecuted by the police in America. Yeah. Um, also, we would like uh, for folks to like maintain social distancing, just to try and like avoid spreading anything.
ask you a question. What, what brings you out here today? Because I am tired of my black people being killed. My brothers and sisters being murdered by cops. They think because they wear a mask, they can get away with everything. So what's the solution? We fight back. My brothers and sisters have to unite, come together. How we going? Stop each other. Exactly. Stop killing each other. What else? What's the most important thing? I am your sister. That's right. As long as we stand together, we can beat anything. My All right. But where our power come from? Each other. No. Where our power? Let me ask you this. What's your nationality? What you say? What is your nationality? I'm African. You African? I'm from this fucking country. They, they made us come here. Do you know where the word African come from? Scipio Africanus. Okay. That's a white man. And Africa is a continent with 54 countries. Which one are you from? So we got to study. We got to find out who we are. Don't you know that we are the children of God? The real Israelites the Bible speak of. Well, well then each one teach one, right? So until we do right, you see what's happening out here? It's gonna to continue to happen. Until we until we go to God, instead of marching against people who ain't got nothing to do with us, it's gonna to continue to happen. We gotta come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. All praises, sister. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you always my sister. All praise. you a question. What brings y'all here today? We have to tackle what's happening right now. Uh -huh. We have to address it. Yes, we do. And what is it that we have, what's the most important thing that we have to address? The most important thing is there has to be a better relationship between the foreign community and the African American community. Okay. Period. They are not, they cannot be in a situation, we cannot be in a situation we pay them mm -hmm. to do what they're supposed to do. That's right. And then on top of that, then they have to abuse us. Okay. They're trying to do their job and we're trying to just live. Okay. The, now, our life should not be at stake for them. That's right. Okay, now, let me, i seen this picture, right? Yeah. On social media. There's a picture of the protest back in the 1960s, right? I know them. And they compared it to this protest is going on today, right? Going well, same right? thing. And we did the same thing back then that we're doing now. So this is like 40 years later, and nothing has changed. Well, some things have changed. What changed? Some things have changed. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're subtle, right? There's subtle things that have changed. Mm -hmm. We did have Barack, right? We have it? We have Barack. Right? And what he did? President Obama, right? And what did so he do? Some things have changed for him to be in that office. Okay, but while he was in that office, we were still getting killed, we were still getting murdered in these streets, and that brother still got killed the other day. So what I'm saying is, what has changed in 40 years with protesting? Well, the things that have changed for some, mm -hmm. right? Not for all. Mm -hmm. Collectively, it was a different mindset then. Mm -hmm. it was more collective, right? That's right. You had James Brown talking about the black and proud. That's right. Hold on, what, what you just say he was what? I'm black and I'm proud. So we have lost that as a people. We lost it as, as a collective, right? That's so right. When the 80s came, uh -huh. with Reagan, Reaganomics. Yes, right? right. Things became more individualized. That's right. So some of our people wanted some of that. Exactly. So it got lost. Okay. The translation, it became muddy. Okay. Right? Unions and so forth. You know, Union. finding the strength of people. Mm -hmm. the, the strength of individuals, the strength of collective mm -hmm. to make a difference. Well, they started peeling off some of those people. Now, let me ask you this. You believe in the Bible? I believe, I, I, I believe in, I believe in a Holy Spirit. That's right. And the book says that a house divided shall fall, right? Absolutely. So, so it's called... That's what, that's what the Civil War, that's what they can say. It's called divide and conquer. Well, that's exactly right, right? That's, that's right. That's been happening for 400 years. That's right. So that's not, that's not unusual. That's right? right. So we've seen this, right? So what we have to do is start educating our young people to start that's feeling right. a little bit more empowered, right? That's because right. Because they feel hopeless. Mm -hmm. There's no question about it. We have to do a little bit better. Us older people have to do a little bit better. That's right. Us so that older we people. understand that your value, that you do have value. Mm -hmm. right? And part of it is economics. Economics. And economics is part of it. Okay, but first, before you can have economics, you need to know who you are, right? 
you have to understand your identity. Your identity. So what's your identity? So what's been happening is our identity, mm -hmm. because you have some that don't quite understand what African American means. I don't either. Well, let me, tell, let me share it with you. Mm -hmm. You have to be connected to some type of country, right? That's right. Black isn't a country. That's, that's exactly. Right? That's so a color. You have, you have ethnic, you have culture, you have race. That's right. right? So black is not all of those. That's right. So you have to have some connection to that. You, you ask an Irish American. That's right. Scottish, the Scottish. That's right. Where's ours? Where's ours? So, so we have to even get with that. So it's a, it's a, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a bigger picture. It's a bigger picture. But this, but this, we have to let the country know mm -hmm. that was unacceptable. But would you respect somebody that don't even know who they are? It comes, it starts with respect. I can't respect you if you don't know who you are. Well, I have to understand who I'm talking. It's like because it could just be ignorance. That's right. Right. They still have a value of being a human being. Mm -hmm. Right. So that respect is there just because you're you're a human being. Yeah. So that has to be given. Mm -hmm. Now when we start having conversations and I'm, and I'm hearing some things that come out mm -hmm. that's not respectful. But if, I'm, I'm gonna respect. say this: if I look at the television, right, and I see how you treat your women, and I see that you re 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 uh, protect your women, and I see that. You kill each other. So how am I gonna respect you? Well, I mean, you know, killing one another is, is, is based upon proximity, right? Exactly. You know, if you can't get out, you're not gonna go into the suburbs and kill each other. No. So they're fighting over the piece of that, that little slice of that pie they was put on. That they think is that they think is there. And it will never be there. And it'll never be there. That's right. So so that comes with critical thinking, that comes with men. That comes with people like yourself, man, have to step up. That's right. Their family role, That's right. Understand what their role is, that they shouldn't be diminished. Right? That's right. I like that. You take care, brother. Stay safe right. out here. <laughs> what brings y'all here today? What brings me out here today? Yeah, what brings you out here today? What brings me out here is, it's, it's really, it's a number of things. Uh huh. It's the anger, it's frustration, mm -hmm. it's the hurt. Yeah. It's the pain. That's right. It's it's it's, it's, it's discrimination. Mm -hmm. It's all the things that are causing harm to people of color mm. and just people who just want to get along and live life peacefully. You oh, know? Yeah. Loving your sisters and brothers. That's right. We're not saying that we hate white folks. No. We're not saying that we hate Asians. No. We're not saying that we hate. Cubans or mm -hmm. Latinos, we're uh -huh. not saying that. What we saying? What we saying is our lives matter. Do we love we ourselves? We love ourselves. Okay. We love this community. We love our world. Okay. We don't want harm. We okay. don't want to hurt anybody. We don't want to hurt. We want the cops to stop killing our sisters, brothers, grandsons, grandfathers, uncles, nephews. That's right. Our aunts, our nieces, uh -huh. our mothers, they just kill all of us. We want this to stop. Okay. It's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. We are not, we are not animals. We That's are right. not second class, third class, fourth class citizens. Okay. We all are human beings. That's right. Now let me ask you this. You say we love ourselves, right? Yes, sir. You say we want the cops to stop killing us. Yes, sir. So how come we're not having one of these rallies in front of a abortion clinic? Don't you know that the black, the so-called black woman kills 400,000, aborts 400,000 babies a year? Well, so yeah. how come we not, pro if we love us, how come we not doing that? You know, that's another, that's another issue. But we love ourselves. We all, of course we love ourselves. Okay. Everybody has a right to stand up for what they believe. Uh -huh. Everyone has the right Come to go hey. out. Everyone has the right uh -huh. to go out. That's right. If you want to protest about abortion, mm -hmm. that's your right. Okay, let me ask you one more thing. Let me ask you another thing. What's your nationality? Me? Yeah. I'm a Negro. You what? I'm a Negro. You a Negro? I'm a Negro. <laughs> I'm a Negro. Okay, you believe in God? Pardon me? Do you believe in God? Yes, I believe in God. You believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. So tell me where is Negro in the Bible? Yes, yes. 
We are all if if if, if we got if we got hung, if Oh, listen, if we got that hung, huh? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. You ask me a question, uh -huh. put it on there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, I understand the Hebrew Israelite. That's right. Okay, I understand That's right. everything that's going on. So okay? you know. It's, you got your phone. It's, 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 Hebrew Israelite, that's fine. You got your phone. That's fine. I choose Negro. Okay. I choose Negro. But you, I, listen. We've been, trained, we've been trained from Negro to African American to, to black. How come to your Indian, nationality has changed every 20 all years? All of this, all of this. You know why? You want to know why? Well, I want to know why. It's because of a theft. It's because of what? Theft. It's because of theft of your your history. That's right. Your ancestors. That's right. Your people. That's is right. Theft. Come here, bro. You That's mad? Right. Now. Now, I got fucking nephews. I got fucking children. I've been through this. I had police stop me. Well, I, under, me like I understand God. that. I understand that. Uh -huh. But right now, I you just happen to me. I, I understand that, and I respect you. But I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to get into. No, no, we're not. You understand? We're not. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. Hold on. So, listen, I'm giving you. Thus so, saith the listen, Lord. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh huh. I lived in that. Give me the army tent I lived in that land. Uh huh. You live where? Atlanta. Oh, ooh, I just came from up there. 1991. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Until 2006. All right. I done dealt with the Hebrew Israelites. Ain't nothing changed. In there, so I know all of it. All right. Hey, read that to him. Read that to him. Dude, hold on, hold on. She's going to read one scripture to you. Read that. Deuteronomy 10 12. Deuteronomy 10. Hold on, hold on. One, one scripture. Deuteronomy 10 12. Israel, wonder the Lord thy God, to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Boom. That's it. Hey, bro. All right, man, you take care, all right? All right. All right, we're good. That's good. That's good. Now, this is about the murder. In, but in who put them on you? This is about the murder in Minneapolis. Okay, okay. I understand that. I understand that. I understand. That. Hold on. I understand that. But we've been doing this since 1950, 1960, yeah. and it's still going on. The definition that. of insanity, hold on. The definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome. Okay, that's true. Now, let me say this to you, and uh -huh. then I'm going to go. That's right. See, in order. Keep going, I'm listening. What we gotta do? Come right to the Father. No, I'm gonna show you. We ain't never tried that. That's, it's that, it's that too. That's right. Well, let me tell you what it's gonna take uh -huh. now, here, while we alive. Yeah. It is going to take white America. It is going to take white America to help us with this. No. That's that's no who's gonna, gonna take. take because that's no. So listen. That man upstairs, that man know that power. See, you you giving them, you giving them your power. Go ahead, bro. That's right. That certain shit, I make it black people look like royalty. That's right. That's right. Who be doing that shit to us? That's right. Watch these white folks. That's what they be on TV. That's right. Tell them, bro. I be just got you telling him about trusting your enemy. That's what the book say. That's right. Hey, bro, let me ask you something. Benjamin. Hey, hey, out. Let me ask you something. My white well, okay, we don't. All right, bro, I let me. Nothing against him. All right. Because they out here. What? I love white people. I love white people. Hey, bro, come, bro, come up. Let me ask you, sir. Hey, what, what brings you out here today, then? I, I came out here because of the injustice. Eight minutes on a fucking man neck. Trayvon Martin brought me out here. Trayvon Martin brought you out here? Yes. I will, uh, I'm tired of this shit. So what we going to do about it? What What's the do? solution? All we can do is try and tell them we're tired, and if they can't understand we're tired, we have to write. And when we write, they don't want us to write. That's right. Because when Who I shall write, arouse them? When I write, that's right. I am a fucking demon. No, no, I'm no. no. But because see, because I'm tired of it. Hold on. But okay, if we're tired of the situation, what do we have to do? We gotta do this. No, and this then a, we got to go for a better Hold on, I, I can give like you. We've been doing for how long? We've been 40, 50 years. Okay. Now, what's the definition of insanity? Insanity is just keep taking the same shit over and over you and expecting a different outcome. Take... Baby, come on. Hey, bro, what's your name? My theory. Yeah, what brings you out here today? 
just to support the uh, protest that they have in regard to George Floyd and all the other black men who, and women who have been killed by the police. And why do you think this keep happening? Now, I seen this thing. It was a picture of a 1950s, 1960s uh, uprising or whatever and what's going on today. It has nothing changed. Nothing has changed. So they, they try to pacify us. That's right. Say they gonna do this and they gonna do that, but uh -huh. nothing happened. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. So they slap you in the face and they tell you turn the other cheek. That's right. I'm not turning the other cheek. Okay, so what are we doing? We gonna have to do something. What's the solution? I don't know what the solution is, but I know that Turning the cheek ain't ain't the solution. So this gonna help? I don't know. It's it's bringing attention to it, but we don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, we have no leadership, and 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 if we had a leader in the White House that was really effective, mm -hmm. then something could happen. We have a racist in the White House. Have you ever heard of the U.S. Constitution? Yes, I have. You ever heard of the Joyce, the Dred Scott decision? Yes, I have. And what did it say? Well, I'm not that familiar okay, with Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you what it said. The Joyce, the uh, Dred, Dred Scott, Scott decision was you were considered three-fifths human. Yeah. That's what it said. Right. You were never meant to have, you were never meant to be a part of this American That's society. Right. That's right. You were brought over here to be a slave. That's right. So how can you get Somebody angry, how you get angry at a system that never, till this day, they never changed that? Never sees mm -hmm. me as a man. So. And I'm a veteran. So how can, exactly. <laughs> so how can you get, so how can you get mad? They doing exactly what the Constitution tell them you can do. Yeah, but we need you, to change that. How are we gonna change that? I don't know. No, I, I, know I can tell. I got the answer. What's the answer? I got the answer. You believe in God? Yeah. You read the Bible. Yeah. What's your nationality? My nationality. I'm an African. That's no. Okay, you African. Right. That's a continent with 54 countries. So if you African, which one are you from? I don't know. How would That's I ever how we go. Know? Hold on. That how, how would, would you? I ever know? You say you read the Bible, right? You say you read the right, Bible, right? right? The Bible tells you who you are. You a child of God. You an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. So remember when the, when the Israelites left out of Egypt, I mean, remember when the Israelites were in Egypt and Pharaoh was putting that hard bondage slavery on them? Did they go protest Pharaoh or did they cry to God that he delivered them from their enemies? So what are we doing? How come we out here protesting to a system that's not for you. Right. How come we not? So what should we do then? Well, I just told you what we should do. First thing we have to do is find out who we are as a people, right? Because you don't know where you can't know where you're going unless you know where you come from. Right. And then we cry to our father. Right. And he gonna set everything in order. Right. But until we learn who we are, they gonna keep doing it. All right? All right, thank you. Here you go, man. Thank you. We, hey, that's our contact information. Let me show you. That's our contact information. That's my number. We got a YouTube page also, all right? Thank you, bro. All right, bro, you take care. What's your name? My name is Yeshiron. It's right down the paper. Okay, thank Brother Yeshiron, my number, man. Thank we got to come back to the Father. That's the only way gonna, that's the only thing that's going to stop this. All right. All right, go ahead. Hey, Hawk, what brings you out here today? Go ahead, please. I'm out here for the peaceful protest, you know, just to see what they talking about. But, uh -huh. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, this ain't gonna do nothing. This ain't gonna do nothing. We gotta, we, we gotta go to the legislative laws. We gotta change all that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were trying to get me from talking to y'all. So what's the definition? So tell me something. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing, thinking you're gonna get a different outcome. So haven't we been doing this since the 50s and 60s? Before that. And, and, and what changed? Nothing. Nothing. So this is a mission of... This is, this is all bad out here. What, what this place called? This? Babylon, this Babylon. right? The, the, land of, the land of confusion, right? Yeah. What, what other place got a um, city called Sin City? Sin City. On, exactly, they exactly. They don't put it together. Well, so, so, so then what's the solution? I mean, it's only one solution. What's when that? Got a, when you got a problem, you get rid of the problem. No, but what's the solution? Who gonna get rid of the problem? I mean, you know, the, the soldiers are the most high, I feel like. That's right. The thugs, the people they lock in jail, the ones that they call outcasts. The righteous. The righteous. Because God can't use you if you wicked. 
Right. You can't drink out of the cup of the Most High God and the cup of devils, right? Right. So we gotta be right with the Most High God for Him to use us in that great in that great day. That's right. That's right. That's right now we fishing. What that scripture? Uh, Jeremiah 16, 16. Fishes of men. Fishes of men. But then He said, "I will send out many hunters to hunt them." Yep. It ain't time. It ain't hunting season it right now. Season, right? It's fishing season right now. That's why we out here in this crowd with these right. people that don't know who they are. They don't. They don't know who they are. They want to be everything but what we really exactly. are. Exactly. I've heard African American and black so many times out here today. African American, you can't be from two continents. Exactly. First of all. Second of all, them are names of uh, Roman conquerors and Scipio Africanus, Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Exactly, man. Even Africa, we not. It's not even just Aki Mulan. Kemet, whatever you want to call it, Ethiopia. That's third what? That was that. Fifty-four different countries. Yeah, yeah. That's one continent with fifty-four different countries, different cultures, different languages. So which one are you from if you African? That's what I'm saying. And they, and, they and, can't and, tell me that. And they and they confound it. You know what I say? If what I you came say? from Africa, then why do I need a passport to go back? That's right. This skin should be my passport to go around the world. They That's know, right. They know who we are and where we from. Exactly. But hold on, why you think this both police brutality keep happening to our people? Because they still consider us three-fifths human. That's why they're not getting uh, cases. But who putting them on us? Who putting them on us? Yeah. What was that one dude, uh, Florio or something? This is one guy, though. Uh-huh. You got, you know, they got fake people out here. And no, 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 no. What you talking about? Spiritually, who putting them on us? Oh, you know, the most high. The most high, why? Stiff neck, you know. Stiff neck. Stiff -neck. Why is that? Because we won't come back. We won't come back. So he said, I'm going to continue to put them on. He said, Esau is my sword and my hand. That's right. That's so right. he going to use them to get us straight. To get you straight. If you don't get straight, he's gonna get, get rid of you. So I got a question for you. Go ahead. So, so once all this is done, do you mm -hmm. believe those who led into captivity will go into captivity? That's what the book says. That's what it says. Not what I believe. That's what I believe, because I'm gonna believe what the book says. That's, right, that's, that's right. Revelation 13, 10, right? That's right, that's right. Those that led into captivity shall go. So did y'all believe the, the Indians and the, you know, they call them Mexicans, but North, they, yeah, it's a call. Tech, yeah, now not all of them, not you know what I'm saying? Not all you got which ones? Not they were right, mingled, right. remember Esau mingled himself among the nations, that's right, that's right. right? So yeah, we believe all that, Northern and Southern Kingdom. We shall be oppressed together. That's right. That's, that's what the right. book says. Right. So we gotta wake our people up and bring them back to the truth for the Most High God. But you Stop. know it ain't gonna be everybody. No, oh, two, two thirds ain't gonna, gonna make it. One third gonna make it, right? Right. What that book? I'd rather, I'd rather down my feet. I mean, I'd rather down my feet than down my knees, right? That's ain't what the book says. We're not begging for nothing. That's we ain't begging for nothing. Protests, I understand, but. Hold on, hold on. But, I want, but remember, in the book of Exodus, it said that Chip, remember when the Egyptians put all that hard bondage on our people and were doing the same thing that's going on today, did we protest Pharaoh? What we did, we cried to the Father, right? That's right. We ain't protest Pharaoh. How you gonna protest and say, if, if, if you gotta ask another man for freedom, you will never be free. You'll never be free. You'll never be Why free. Why let you free? <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna keep that power. Keep the power. That's right. Exactly. Into a sense, they still got power. You know. Exactly. They still got it. They not. They come out here and protest, but when that, when this shit hit the fan, they not gonna be out here fighting for it. I would just tell another brother that Monday morning they're gonna be right back on that plantation. Right back on the plantation. <laughs> All prayers, man. It was good talking to you, bro. Hey, get in contact with me. Not no salam alaikum, shalom, huh? I said shalom alaikum. Okay. All right. Just look back at that country. All right, man.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Lord 